James Watt was a well-known Scottish engineer, inventor. He came to work here in Birmingham, settled here and remained here for the rest of his life. James Watt's a really significant figure because of the improvements that he made to the steam engine that created the power to drive the Industrial Revolution. His improvements made it possible for steam engines to be used all over the world. They were much more efficient, which meant that they were cheaper to use. A lot of things could be produced in factories and no longer by hand. What he did made an enormous difference to the speed of the industrial development in the world. It changed the world we live today. I think James Watt's a really great figure for children to engage with, not just because of his technological innovations, but because of his legacy, his associations and his values. This leads us to a really wide range of areas of the curriculum and we can link his life to science, maths, English, art, RE and history. For the past year, we've been using James Watt as a stimulus for learning in a number of schools workshops that have been delivered across the city. We got children to handle different materials, to think about communication and travel in the 18th century. You can even link James Watt to science and technology today. We asked the children to think about what he might have been doing if he was around now. What things would he be interested in? And the response from children was fascinating. James Watt is an absolutely interesting figure for the children to learn about. So much can be integrated within the topic and it is also very cross-curricular. They were totally engaged with the hands-on experience looking at artefacts. I heard a few wows and ahs and, ah's and whatever, so it'll be inspiration for their work over the next half term. So it was just an amazing experience for them. James Watt Primary School is built right on the site of Hockley Brook, which originally fed the Soho Manufactory. We took the children from the school up to a very nearby Soho Foundry, which is the place where Bolton and Watt made their steam engines and shipped them all over the world. It's been a wonderful project where we've obviously been learning through the medium of history, but we've also been learning through the medium of art and music and design and technology and a range of different subject areas which in, enrich learning. But also, because there's been a lot of reading and a lot of writing involved in the project necessarily, it's been enhancing those skills and those crucial skills for pupils. The children have been able to look at artefacts from James Watt. It's nice to have it, see something visual, being able to handle the artefact and know the history behind it and where it came from. They all thoroughly enjoyed it. I've learnt lots of things about James Watt. My favourite part was going on the walk to Soho Foundry. I like to learn where people create stuff. I like learning about James Watt because he was an um, inventor, a genius and a marvellous thinker. I've learned that he invents things, he improved lots of things. It's fun learning about somebody in the past because you get inspired by that person. There are a really great range of resources that are available to children in this city so they can find out more about James Watt. This includes Soho House in Handsworth where he would have visited, a range of blue plaques across the city, many different pieces of public sculpture, the wonderful archive at the Library of Birmingham and at Think Tank where one of Bolton and Watt's steam engines can be seen in operation. Here at Think Tank you can see the original Smethwick engine that James Watt worked on as well as looking at engines that he's improved on after time with a rotary motion for example but also looking at engines beyond James Watt's legacy. With James Watt you can explore a variety of learning through STEM, so science, technology, engineering and maths, um, but as well as through local history, local geography and also globally and how he changed how factories were run worldwide. I think we should remember James Watt today because despite personal setbacks and ill health and family tragedies, he showed resilience, problem solving and determination to really make a difference. 
The response has been fantastic and children have loved getting to know more about this individual. 